Hey guys, it's your girl Ebony, and this is Ebo Dacious Loves, where we talk about what? The things that I love, which happen to be beauty, fragrances, and a lot of other things. <laughs> Look, I'm not one dimensional. If that's something that you be into, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this video so more people know I'm out here, guys, because it's a lot of people out here, a lot of people out here. So guys, as you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking about my favorite blind buy purchases from 2021. For those of you who follow the channel, you know that most of my purchases are blind buys. <laughs> I just um, I just take a chance with them. Now, I mean, of course, many of them are affordable. I don't just, you know, throw away $200 often blindly, <laughs> but um, I do just follow reviews, listen to what people say. I um, look at the notes. I'm starting to learn the kind of notes that I like since I've begun this journey into fragrances and I just take a chance. So today I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve that I would say, like I had to stop because I was getting ready to pretty much put them all here because I like so many of the items I purchased, but I took it down to a dozen because we'd be here all day and I made these my favorite blind buy purchases that I did for 2021. I I didn't order these or not ranked or anything because that would just be a, too much for me to do. But I'll leave my last, you know, the ones further up are like my favorite favorites. How about that? But I can't say which one's number one. They're like, you know, I can't. So um, the first fragrance I'm going to say is one that I don't think I even talked about on my channel or even opened on the, on the channel. I might have, but it, I probably did. And at the time, it really wasn't like one that blew me away when I opened it, but I liked it. But as I've, as I've had it longer in my collection, it's just like a kind of a dumb reach one for me if I'm not sure what I'm feeling or I, I can't get a hold on what I'm feeling that day because I do kind of put my perfume on based on what I'm feeling, not even so much based on what the weather is or anything like that, just based on what I'm feeling. This one is one that I can put it on and it meets me wherever I am. <laughs> and it's actually a celebrity scent. I think it's a celebrity scent. Um, and it's Rachel Zoe warrior. I think she'd be considered a celebrity over a designer, even though she does, she's a stylist, right? She's a stylist first, and then she's a designer. I really do love this scent. Like, I will sometimes just come in. This is one of the ones where I just come in. Let me, I'm just like checking my notebook, guys, because I'm going to... Yeah, this one is warrior. I like this one so much that I want all of them. And this launched in 2021, but it was already in Burlington's. Not often. I haven't seen it again. And I'm so mad I didn't grab, there were two different ones there. And I'm so mad I didn't grab them both for the price. I got this for like $17, this big bottle. And this has like mandarin orange, plum, tonka bean, patchouli, cacao, 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 cacao. I don't know, guys. Magnolia and tuberose. But I really like this. I, I, like I said, I want... She has four that came out this year. Well, last year. And I want all of them now. <laughs> I think the models are kind of cool, too. They're just simple. I don't want... I need to... I need to wipe all these off. They're just simple. They have, like, a little zebra print. And they have her name on them. The zebra print's on the back. And then they have this nice lid. But those are Rachel Zoe. And I, I it performs on me well, too. I mean, as you guys know, things do not last on me much at all. And this one lasts enough. And I like that the bottle is sturdy enough that I can put this bottle in my purse and not worry that I'm going to, like, break it or anything. So when I wear this one, depending on what I'm doing for the day, I will take it with me. I love that. This next one is one that I got for steal at TJ Maxx. I paid like $18 for it, and it's CK into you. This is so nice, guys. 
It's red currant leaf, pink grapefruit. It's actually one of the few that I have a pink grapefruit. Amber, red cedar, vanilla. This is gorgeous. It hold, and it lasts well on me, the performance. So the thing is, in this list, you will not, I'm. you're gonna not see some of the ones that I talk about all the time that I use all the time, because this is about the best blind buys. And when I'm saying the best, I'm considering their performance as well as the smell. So some like some of the ones like my M Mariah that I wear all the time, the bed is not on this list because the performance isn't that great. So this, I love this scent. This scent is a sleeper right here. This is so good. Next, mm. This was one that I got on TJ Maxx on sale. And it was the first one that I have in the Dijoa line. I had Aqua Dijoa was actually, if I was going to have, if I was a person who had a signature scent back in the day, that was my scent. I loved it so much. So when I saw this one at the store, I thought, I'm going to get this. And the first time I sprayed it. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. This is Air de Joa. This little lid that comes with that. Air de Joa. First of all, I love this packaging and I want every one of these now in this size. <laughs> and I think I heard one of them might have been discontinued. I don't think it was this one. I think it was Sky. I'm not sure. It might have been this one. I don't know. But this smells to me like a spring morning like fresh rain. There's rain. In it. I don't know. I smell rain and I don't know what makes it smell like that. I don't know if anybody else smells it. But when I wear this, I smell rain. Now this has in it neroli, sage, mandarin orange, peony, and moss. And, the, and I smell rain on wet grass. And that's where I think the moss comes in. Like not even so much wet grass, but like those trees with the flowers on them when they get wet. Now you do have to watch like if I sprayed that and put my nose on it too quick because this is one of those ones that go down through your throat and like burn the back of your throat if you're not careful. You, I, 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 if I'm not careful. I love this scent. It lasts on me. I was wearing it to church. I think it's a good church scent. I wore it to church. But, and it, and I would get whiffs of it all the whole time. It definitely feels mature to me. But yeah, it smells like outside. It smells like air. It smells like, I. it smells like air on a spring, on a damp spring morning to me. I smell dampness. I love it so much. That's Air de Joa. This is something I would wear. I, and I think this is good for, for me for spring. Because I just said I think it smells like springtime. <laughs> and that's what I that's what I associate it with. And that's what I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it in the summer. It was like um, but it was cool. It wasn't a hot, hot summer day. It was like uh our summers wasn't wasn't hot this year, so I wore it a lot in the summer. I love it a lot. <clears throat> this next one is another one. I'll just keep with the summer scent. I think it's another Good summer scent. Although somebody I watch on YouTube, her name is Sarah. She says she loves this for the winter. I haven't worn it in the winter. It, it, it doesn't smell like winter to me, but it's it's light, so I could see why it might, like what she was saying, it might bring it out the winter, the cold. But I didn't say what it was. I'm sorry, guys. It's Nicki Minaj Onika. This is my, I have one of two Nicki Minaj fragrances. I love Onika. The other, um, and I like this head. This is the one head that I actually like, and I actually like the bottle. I like the black. So this one does, this bottle doesn't bother me. And I love, 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 love the scent. So I guess I like Mandarin Orange because I'm starting to see a trend with my scents. There's a lot of orange, a lot of orange in my scents. I know I love pear. Pear is one of my favorite scents. It's another scent when I was when I was in my twenties, late twenties. I wore pear glaze from Victoria's Secret. Was I wore that all the time? 
So I know I love the scent of pear. Pear in there, and I, it's so nice. That's Onika. Onika. Nicki Minaj. We'll just keep with the celebrity because I have one, one, uh, two more celebrity scents in here, but we'll go with the other performer, musical performer, and that is Rihanna. And this is one of my most used fragrances for um, 2021. It is Rihanna Rebel Fleur, Love Always. I like this one. I have Rebel Fleur, and I bought that this year, new 2021 as well. But when I brought this one, to me, I love this one so much more than Rebel Fleur. Mmm. It definitely has the Rebel Fleur DNA. I mean, the very close. It's not like it fared really far. I love that musk amber. I feel like I'm a person who likes amber. I see that amber sense for something that I'm starting to lean towards. Mm, I love it. You can see I, if you can see, you can see where my water, where my juice is at. I've been using that a lot i use that a lot in the, in the fall when we finish up the celebrities my other celebrity scent that i feel like was a great blind buy i don't know why it took me so long to blind buy this because it's been around a long time i mean it was around back in the day and i just didn't buy it and that is sarah jessica parker lovely this scent is so good <laughs> so good guys now, people say it, they, it reminds them of Narcisco Rodriguez for her. I have not had a chance to smell that yet, but I do want to definitely try some Narcisco. And I have a few on my queue for like purchase for blind eyes. So, mm, I'm sorry. Now I'm rocking. <laughs> I'm rocking. I didn't realize I was rocking, guys. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Mm. I don't have nothing to say. I've talked about this enough. All right. Now this blind buy, this was one heck of a blind buy. And I've been so happy when I keep wearing it. And that's the Nina Ricci Rose Estas, La Estas, like Estas, Estase. I think you said A. Yeah, I think there's an accent that word. A. So, Ecstase. So, it is, because I can't read it. <laughs> it's from Nina Ritchie. It's a rose. It's like the only really strong, so, like, rose, rose that I have. Like, I have since, I have stuff with rose in it, but this is a really strong rose. So good. Mm. I definitely, I definitely want to get more rose scents in my collection. And I definitely want more from Nina. That smells so classy. Y'all know, I've been talking about this one in a couple videos, and I just got it in December, and I keep wearing it. I can't stop wearing it, and that's my Prada Candy Nights. Mm, this is so good. I can't put my nose, so it won't even matter because I can't. Um, I put this back on. Originally, I took this off, but I kept it on because you can keep it that way. and It'll keep it from I'm worried about the little nozzle. I love the sprayer on this. scent so much. This is not only my first chocolate scent. I just think this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. I gotta add it to my notebook. I haven't added it yet. I have to update my notebook. This is one of my favorites. This is like one of those ones where I'm gonna, I, I don't even wanna spray it anymore on these because I think, I don't know if they've discontinued it, but I got it on sale, so it makes me feel like they're gonna discontinue it. I don't know, I could be wrong, but it was on sale. Now it's sold out, but I feel like I don't wanna ever be without this scent. This is a scent, like I'm kicking myself for not getting the bigger bottle. Like, I'm so mad at myself because it was, like, the difference of, like, I mean, $12 or something. 
makes I should have just got the bigger bottle. But I had never smelled, you know, I never it was a blind buy and I didn't want to ever do it, but this was so good. And I don't want to be without it ever. Um another one I don't want to be without ever is Mont Blanc Signature. Now this one I got as a tester and it came with the lid, so I was happy about that. Only thing I only my only complaint about this fragrance is I feel I want to know where I'm at in the bottle because I'm like if I pick it up one day and I got a squirt and there's nothing there, <laughs> like I can swish it around and hear it. But when I tell you guys I've been using this a lot, like this probably is I could probably be safe to say this is the one I've sprayed the most out of everything I've gotten in, in 2021. I've used this one the most. And you can't see the juice. You can't see, you can't even see it down here. You can't see it up here. Like, come on, y'all need to give me some way to see where I'm at. Like, I have no idea where I'm at. And I feel like this, I feel like I can't be without this. And I don't want to start repurchasing new fragrance, old fragrances that I just got. And I want to get new fragrances. So I'm like, I need to know where I'm at with this bottle. <laughs> so I can stop using it. Because I don't want to be without this. Yeah, not at all. Another one that I don't want to be without, and I don't think I'll I don't think I'll get anywhere near not being <laughs> finishing this bottle. And it's my Burberry Body EDT. I meant to get the EDP and I purchased the wrong bottle. But I'm glad I got this. And I heard that actually smell very different. This one has like peach, I believe, and there's no musk in it, but it gives me like a musk scent, but there's no musk in this scent. In fact, let me see what they say is in this scent. They say green apple, peach, wormwood, rose, and sandalwood. I actually think I'm, I think I'm finding that I like your ambers. I like sandalwood. I like tonka bean. I haven't smelled anything with oud yet. So I don't know how I feel about that. Unless like, yeah, I haven't. So I don't know. But I can't be without this. And I don't think I will. Because it's so much. Like I use this a lot. And you wouldn't even know I used it a lot. <laughs> I love this bottle. I love this bottle. Um, Another really great blind buy for me was from Guess, and it's Guess Seductive Noir. This is what the bottle looks like. I picked this up at Macy's backstage. This is so sexy, and it's like a beast. You put this on, and everybody can smell you. You leave like a, it leaves a scent trail. This is grown woman. This is mature to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> I'm not the best reviewer, guys, huh? Because I'm just like, I love it. Well, whatever. Whatever's inside of it's inside of it. <laughs> but this one, let me tell you, this has sage. Okay, so maybe I like sage because this is the second one that I, in, I think in this group that has sage. Vanilla is also one of my favorite. Haitian vetiver, Haitian vetiver. Yes. I'm starting to see I like vetiver. That's that gives you that kind of man base, that masculine little note. I, I think vetiver kind of can be a masculine note. Bergamot can get, sometimes give you kind of a masculine note. But, they, but I feel like they blend in a way that make it... Um, it's blendable in a way that makes it feminine. I can't say that word. <laughs> I think, and then there's two more, right? That's what I said. I didn't even, I already showed you guys my favorite, which was the signature. I totally went out of work, out of order. So another one that surprised me and when I first was another one that's grown on me to becoming a love 
And it is Lolita Lempica. And this is Mon Premier, as you can see, guys. I started to put a dent. I put a dent in this. And this is another one of those bottles that I just like to smell it. I don't... I don't necessarily go to grab it often to put it on myself, but I do grab it pretty much at least once a week to just smell the smell. I love the smell of this. It's, I think it's just beautiful. I love it. Mm. And then the last one, which is, it's actually appropriate this is the last one. Actually, no. Ooh, ooh, no, there's one more. And there is another celebrity scent. I totally forgot about it. It's sitting right there. Actually, it's good these two are at the end. Because these last two are my on my favorite blind buy list. And when I tested them for you guys first, when I first sprayed them, put them on the um, tester strip, I was like, hmm, womp, womp. <laughs> I wasn't like blown away by them. But then when I put them on, particularly in this fall, they were just perfect. Like I grabbed them so much. And this is one, and it's Rogue by Rihanna. This, I think what, what the first turned me off about Rogue was the leather scent. Cause I think it was the first, it was not think, it was the first time. And it is the only fragrance in my collection right now with a leather note. But I love it, guys. I think it is so good. Hmm. Now, people say this. I think this is the one they say it smells like. A Bonetta, Vanita, Vanita, Bonetta, or Bonetta, Vanita. <laughs> Bonita, Bonita, Bonita. <laughs> Bonita, Apple Bum. <laughs> That's... This smells so good. <laughs> that that note, that leather note is bomb. I think it's suede, actually. I, I think it's suede. Let me double check that because I actually do think it's suede. And I keep saying leather, but I mean leather, suede. I mean suede, though. But suede is a leather, but you know what I mean. This is another one that is kind of a dumb reach for me when I don't know what I want to wear. Just put the rug, just put the rug on, just put the rug on, Ebony, you'll be fine. And a, this bottle is another one that I don't mind carrying and throwing in my bag because it doesn't last long on me. I mean, it, it's not a poor performer in the sense of M, <laughs> where there's no projection or anything. It, it's good, but I don't get the full day is what I mean to say. But I don't get the full day in a lot of sense. So, and the other, this other last one was another one that when I smell that I was like, whoa, I can't, I can't. It was like overwhelming at first. I think I just had sprayed too many, like I am right now. <laughs> and once I put it on me, it was bomb. It was so bomb. <laughs> and it's Roberto Cavalli signature. Um, look at the dent I have in that, guys. That's how much I like it. It lasts on me. It smells great on me. Um, yeah, so that's that. Roberta Cavalli signature. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, <laughs> well, Ebony, what you're supposed to say is tell us what's in it <laughs> and why you like it and what's so good about it. So <laughs> let me tell you guys. So, yeah, this was another orange so i must like orange this is african orange flower but it has pink pepper and it was my first pink pepper scent it has vanilla it has those tonka beans that i like benzoin i don't know what benzoin smells like i think this is my only this is my only fragrance with benzoin so maybe that makes it why it's so unique for me but um i love it and i want to get more from this line and i would that we would i have to repurchase it i don't I don't think I would say I would have to, if it runs out, I'd have to go get another one. So it's one I could, I don't know, I, I think that right now. I think 
I'm thinking as I get to, into more fragrances, I'll find other fragrances like it is what I'm saying. But I think it's so sophisticated and it smells like a expensive perfume. And I think you can definitely wear it like it's an expensive perfume. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I wear all my per I mean, nobody's ever said to me, um, people compliment me on my perfume. They compliment me. On me. They don't like, you know say that perfume smells $20. <laughs> so let me know, do you guys blind buy perfume? If you, if so, what were your favorite blind buys this year? And um, are any of these, do you, have, do you get any of the ones I'm talking about? Do you have any of the ones I'm talking about in your collection? Are any of them your, among your faves? Period. Let me know down in the comments. I love talking to you guys down there. Okay, well, Thank you so much for being here, guys. And just know, if you're not feeling so great today, things will get better. All right. Bye.